Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penj and it is time for some more another Brick in the Mall. So, a couple of things to address before we start. This bit here has been rectified, so the Sergeant Curry Pants clothing shop indeed has now been restocked. So it did have that bug, but now they are back, so the stock clock is back doing their job, which is good. So you can see, the shelves are full of nice things. And yes, down here, I've made a few changes to the sweet shop bit, just here. Um, what I've done is, there's three people working there, is there? Is there that many people? Are there that many cashiers? There are that many cashiers, good grief. So, um, uh, yes, I have took the wall out just here, because that seemed a little bit pointless, because sometimes in a kind of cinema lobby thing, you don't have a, you know, the, the shop is just open. You don't go through a door to necessarily get something. It's just a big open kind of area. And yes, the tills are at this end, so they can go and buy their stuff, get their drinks, join the join the queue, pay, and they go straight back out into here. And that was pointed out, of course, by people commenting. Thank you. Particularly Emrys, I think, who then obviously here has a shop named after him. Yes, he's got his, what was it? I can't remember what it was called. Emrys' Fine Food Emporium, just there. Look splendid. However, there are a lot of angry people still. I don't know why. Is this too big? Is it overstretched? I didn't think that was that big for a restaurant, but nobody appears to have any food. The people here, the cooks, are just sat uh, looking at their phones, which is not the best thing for a cook to be doing. All the people are getting very, very angry and very, very shaky face. Ah, have we had the same problem here? Is there a bug going on? Uh, Lucy Bray will come to work in 11 hours. He'll come to work in 19 hours. Where? Why is there no stock clerk? Why is there no stock clerk bringing them food? What's going on just there? Hang on a moment. What? Didn't we have three? Didn't we have three stock clerks at one point? Did we not have three ever here? We've got three of everything else. I don't know why we wouldn't have that. So it's uh, 11.30 at night. So who should be here? So you... Raymond Hansen, stock clock, at home. You should be here at six o'clock in the evening and you should stay here for eight hours. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two. Why are you at home? Why are you at home? So that's why they're all angry because there's no stock clock to bring anyone any food. So I, I don't know what to do with that. How am I supposed to resolve that issue if basically people are... <laughs> people have big red faces. If, if the stock clock doesn't come into work... What do I do? I mean, is that, a, is that a thing that I need to note? Is it something to do with one of his skills or whatever? Do I need to fire him? I really don't know. I thought we kind of had that covered. Lucy Bray will be okay. Yes, all cl yes, clear, clear, clear. Yes, jolly good. 40 people live in the big shop. I know, but it's just too busy and too big and too fabulous. Oh, just to, just to point out, yes, I don't think... It's going to check... Uh, yeah, we can't build in that area. Yes, uh, uh, somebody would say, oh, you could, you've got a bit more room to build on the right. But no, there is a limit. There's a sort of limit. That's the edge of the build area, I believe. Okay, so now, yeah, look, now, now there's a stock clerk on board. People are able to come and do stuff because the stock clerk takes the food to the tables. Now, maybe we need double the amount of stock clerks for this particular place. Because it seems to be that the stock clerk takes the uh, stuff to the chefs, to the cooks, and then they do the cooking. So look, they, the stock clerk brings the stuff onto the cook's little sort of cooking range things, and the cooks cook it, put it on here, and then the waiters deliver it to the tables. So maybe we need another stock clerk. Maybe we need two more stock clerks for this place to get stuff done very, very quickly. Now, he has now come to work. He's now here. Okay, fine. I don't know what happened there. They maybe just had a day off or something. I don't know. Right, let's hire two more then. So another one to start at 10 for eight hours, another one to start at six for two hours. Right. Stock clerks. Is anyone good at being a stock clerk? Uh, you two are okay. Oh, you, Ben Wiggins. Yes, we'll hire you, Ben. And hire a stock clerk. Uh, you were okay because you've actually got stock clerk skill. But your speed is very good. Your speed is quite good. You're Oh, Noah Brandt. Now, we do need another janitor as well. Maybe we'll get Noah Brandt as a janitor as well. Now, do I go for you? with your general speed skills, but your actual stock clerkery, or that, Alison McKnight, with a massive load of speed, but not as much stock clerk skill. It's only 34. It's not even double. So what's her speed? 91.56 to 56. And then the stock clerk says 19.15. Yeah, okay, right. We'll get you. We'll get Alison McKnight. I mean, they look very similar. They have very similar haircuts. Clearly, this hair is in fashion. Right, Alison McKnight. So Ben Wiggins can start at 10. 
and work for eight hours and you can start at six and work for eight hours so now we'll have two stock clocks on so in theory we should be able to get food to the cooks twice as fast okay and then in here manage that let's hire another janitor because he was actually quite good noah brandt 62 he's quite quick but he has got 50.79 janitor goes oh hang on but you're not as quick. Maureen, Hannah, you're a little bit, tiny bit better at janitoring, but you're not as fast in terms of overall speed. So I'm going for Noah. Let's get Noah in. So what time do you start? You start at 10. You start at 6. Why don't you start in the middle? 1, 2, 3, 4. Start at 2. And there we go. So we've got a little staggered approach to our janitors there. In fact, do we want him overnight to clean up some of the stuff that happens overnight? In fact, yeah, should we have him starting later than 6? Should we have him starting... I don't know, 10. That'll do. Yeah, there we go. I like the sound of that. Okay. So another thing we're going to do, that today's plan was get the bar sorted. We need to do that. Sort this out a little bit in order to give us a um, a kind of a, a toilet almost, like a restroom area, because these people have no restroom. If they want to use a restroom, they have to go out the restaurant all the way through here into the restrooms in the Latana Cinema, which is not ideal. And also, if we have a smaller stock room, just here, say, for this particular restaurant, the stock clocks won't have to go all the way down there to grab the stock and bring it all in. They can literally just nip through the door and go bing, 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 and bring it into here. So that's probably a good idea. So we need to change this around a little bit. So let's get storage. Let's earn a sign up to, say, there for now, which is still fine. That's still plenty of room for just there. And then the storage. The thing for here can be, so the storage for here can be, if we go to build, press the right buttons would help. So that big, so we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that, that's plenty big, isn't it? If we do that there, uh, okay. Oh no, it's a wall, isn't it? Of course, it's already got a foundation in. Was it about there? And then have the restroom kind of here. So I think, yeah, about there is fine. And then have a restroom there. But then we want the restroom actually doesn't need to be any bigger than that either, does it? The restroom does not need to be any bigger than that. That should be absolutely fine. So then let's get ourselves a door to enter the restroom. That would make sense. So the walls can go in. That can go in. Right. Very important floor for the restrooms. We need to delineate that it's a restroom with the floor. And then we want to make ourselves right storage just here. Let's call it. Emrys's storage. So Emrys's Oh, I guess it's complicated, isn't it, with apostrophes? Emrys's storage, that'll do. Okie doke. Right, pause. And then we need to assign, reassign storage to there. Now that should I think that'll make a big difference. I think that'll make things a lot quicker to get the actual stuff in. To get the stuff in and out, I think that'll be far quicker. They've got a vending machine just there, which is a little bit strange. Right, and there, uh, yeah, you can't run through the wall, Matt. <laughs> Duh. Uh, and let's get this. Let's get ourselves some bathroomy things. So toilet cubicles. Let's put them uh, along that way. Like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And sinks. Let's flip that round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okie doke. And then let's assign that as a restroom. And then go to this and manage restroom. And then let's call it Emrys's restroom. Although other people can use it if they want to, of course. Okay, so that's that's good. I like that. So that should help. So when one of these toilet cubicle things goes in, that should then go green. There we go. So now it's an actual proper restroom that is you can use, that's allowed. So people don't have to go all the way miles out there. And now we've got two stock clerks in. So hopefully they should be able to get things served a bit quicker. So let's see if we have any red face people. Now I'm expecting some red face people because that's fine. This person here has a red face. Their satisfaction is going down. But that, you know, that's fine. They've got their food. Why are you so miserable? Cheer up. Oh, your bladder's full. That's why. So yeah, certainly not as many red faces. Not as many at all. This place is absolute. This place is so popular. Oh my goodness me. They people pay a lot of money profit of so almost two grand we make out of that place wow okay yeah that's very very popular okay good so what we do is we check at the end of this day to see exactly how much profit that made because it's coming up to closing time anytime now so we'll see how popular it is yeah look, everyone's still very smiley and happy 
I mean, we can't get the orders in. People have come in and no one's got red face, though, so that's fine. No, and it's going to shut. These people are, <laughs> people are refusing to leave. I am not leaving. So that place makes almost four grand on its own. That's very good for a restaurant. Can you please leave? Thank you. In fact, it probably made a bit more. Uh, okay, yeah, that's good. So that sorted that out. Restroom, storeroom, all that is looking fine. Right, a bar. We need to sort the bar out. Lots of notices. Yeah, 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 whatever. Is everything else still stocked? Is everything still working? Okay, this place. Is you still stocked? Yeah, okay. Just yours just stood in the middle. Stock clock hanging around. You, you can tidy something up or something, could you? Could you go and help? Now, okay, now this, this is worrying again because those are empty. Stock clerk. I oh, know you are fetching stock. Okay, where? Whereabouts are you? Oh, okay, right now. I see the disadvantage of having a large shared room is that they have to go all the way down to the end. If it was all individual bits, they could just go bop, 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 bop through the doors. But because they're all individual, uh, because it's a one shared stock room, they have to go all the way along to that bit to grab a stock to go all the way back to put it onto the shelves. But okay, that's not so bad for over there. I think that's where we're going to be the extent of the little parade of shops for now anyway. Let's clear all that kind of stuff. So, okay, that's looking good. That's a good. Right, bar. Let's sort this bar out then. So you cashier, stock clocks, bar counters and bar shelves. Of course we do. So we want a bar counter, if I can find where that is. A bar counter. Uh, let's spin it round like this. So people, where are gonna, people are going to come in? That side. So do we want to put the bars at this end? Or do you want to put the bar yeah, kind of up there? Let's put the bars there so they can walk in, get in the queue pretty much straight away. Now, do we need, however, where's the bar thing I'm above? The bar shelves. There we go. So they'll be behind. So let's have uh, two of those for now, like so. And then bar counters. Now, I think I can put them just there. I think I can do that. That should be okay. And then we want some tables and chairs for to sit. So a bar counter with stools. I do like these. I like the idea of them going around. Oh, can we make a like a thing in the middle? Can we have like that? Yeah, I quite like that idea. Like sort of like that in the middle. Uh, and there and there and there. There and there and there. And then spin it round there, there, there. And then like that. I like that. And then we'll have some against the wall at the end if you're a bit antisocial. <laughs> and then can we just have a row of them along here? I think we can. That'd be quite good. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, it's massive. This bar is enormous. It doesn't need to be this big. But whatever, that'll do. And then I think we can put some extra bits in. So let's put in an arcade cabinet. That's a fun thing to have in the bar. Just there. And what else can we put in? An ATM, possibly? No, the bar doesn't need an ATM. The bar doesn't need an ATM. That should be fine, I think. There we go. That'll be okay. Like so. So I think that should be good for that. And then we want to get ourselves the opening hours are set. So 16 hours. We want to get ourselves two stock clerks and two cashiers. So uh, is anyone good at any of this? You're quite a good cashier, actually. Let's get you as a cashier. Let's get Lorraine Salinas. She's got speed. She's not got much sociability, actually, but she's quite quick. So hopefully she'll churn through people quite quickly. Uh, okay, so we'll get you as a cashier, and oh, you're quite a good cashier as well. Oh, and you're very sociable. You'll do. And then stock clerk. Anybody want to be a stock clerk? You, Kim Mayer, and is there anyone else half decent at stock clerkery? Looks like you, Kelly Avery. Good job. You're hired. Okay, and you can start at 10 for eight hours, as can you. And then you can start at six for eight hours, as can da, 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 you. Splendid. Okay, speed time on. We obviously need to fill out the bar with the stuff, like so. But you've just decided to go. <laughs> Come on, fill in more stuff in the bar, please. There we go. And then we need to reassign storage to just there. I think that's fine anyway. Uh, and we have a bar. It's part of the Latana Cinema thing. So let's call it the Latana. Litana bar. The Litana bar actually sounds quite good. The Litana bar. Yes, there we go. So Litana now is his own bar as well as the cinema. He's come out of this quite well, hasn't he? He's come out of this quite well indeed. Mr. G gets a teeny tiny little fast food thing. He's got a whole cinema with a bar in it and everything. 
Okay, so that is that's working. People seem happy here. It seems popular. And there are restrooms across the corridor. So you can go to the go to the loo if you need it. There's loads of places to sit. Stock should be okay. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit far from the door. Yeah, we could sort that. We can sort that. We could put a staff door just there. We can kind of try and fix that a little bit rather than having them walk through the, the main room through the actual bar. We could do that just there. Now, it does need a different floor. Uh, oh, I don't know. The floor types are so vague. Let's have this kind of grey looking floor. Yeah, that'll do. That looks absolutely fine. Whatever. That'll be fun. Okay, so that's the bar sorted. So that's another profit making thing. Now, how much money do we make per day? We made 17 grand yesterday. That's not very much. That isn't as much as I thought at all. Um, okay, yeah, so we're not making that much, but in terms of net profit, let's just check. Let's have a day of earning money. Now, it used to be around lunchtime each day we were breaking even, more or less. So let's see. Now, we are paying a lot of salaries. We've got a lot of people's salaries to pay. But now people are coming in, so the restaurants are open, everything's open. So around lunchtime, and, and yes, okay, we've got some research stuff to look at. Yes, okay, right, yes, we're making a little bit more making about a grand by lunchtime. Okay. Have we got anything else left to do? One final thing. Let's research that. And I realise I hadn't done this before either. Marketing. Let's just do some marketing because we've got 112 grand. Why not? Let's just muck about. Let's go for an online video. Targeted online video. Premium build. Campaign duration. Whatever. 10 days. Uh, design phase 96 man hours. So it's going to take 96 man hours for them to develop that thing. That's absolutely fine. Eight man hours to maintain. That's fine. 30 grand, 15 sales, 50% sales boost. Yeah, yeah, well, whatever. Why not? Let's just have fun. So that's them working on this. That's another campaign that I can start again, but I'm not going to do that. There was a little bit of a uh, confusion in the comments when I said, oh, I think you, you, know, you, you built the campaign, but you didn't start it. But no, that's another campaign. If I wanted to do a billboard campaign, that's another one. But they still have to design this one thing first i believe so yeah there we go that's fine let's just leave that to run by then splendid so that's ticking over quite nicely that's all working this is very good don't want to get a back way into the cinema now yeah i was gonna put i was gonna put a kind of bowling alley over here but i, I might try it but we need more parking but do we need more parking i don't think we do need more parking this bit gets very busy over here not so much over this side but if we put loads of spaces in I bet it would fill up. But the plan was for over here to build a big bowling alley. Now, let's just check in here. There is a bowling lane type item thing, isn't there? Bowling lane. Okay, you must place this object indoors. Okay, so how many of the... Can I not rotate a bowling lane? No, I can't seem to rotate. But the bowling lanes have to go like that. Okay, fine. So if I built it like that, I could have one, two, three, four, five lanes across there and then a gap and then another five lanes again and what which end is which which end do they start at they start at this end on the left hand side where the arrows are pointing yeah i can't rotate that at all that's a little bit strange isn't it that's a bit weird okay fine whatever that's the way it is so yeah i think we build that along there and just have a big bowling alley a giant big bowling alley over here so again this is going to take an absolute age to afford to do this yeah, it's clever enough to not... It's going to charge me for those squares I don't really want to be charged for. But yeah, I mean, just to build that across there is eight grand. Eight grand. That's really expensive. And then to fill all that in is 105 grand. We've nearly got enough money, actually, weirdly enough. So we could do that. So, okay, let's wait until we've done that then. Let's wait until we've been paid at the end of this day. And then we'll have 105 grand. We can build that out by the time they've finished zoning the whole area out. We should then have some more money because we're actually going to make quite a nice profit by the end of today. What are we going to make? About 22, 23. It's going to come back down when we have to pay people. But yeah, that's quite nice. I'll take that as a profit. That is 22 and a half grand. That's a lovely profit. Okay, now I can do that. Splendid. Now I noticed they have done a thing. I don't know when. They, was this in the last video as well? When you build the walls, it now realizes that because I've zoned that area i don't want walls at the edge of where i've zoned because it's connected to a wall so it realizes this and does it properly which is actually quite nice right let's get ourselves big doors because we can probably put them in now so i'll have a couple of big doors like that maybe three of those at that end 
uh, and we'll have a cashier thing. Now, let's just have a look now. No, no, no. Where are we? Bowling alley. Can I just zone a teeny tiny bowling alley like that just to see what it requires? Requires access. Ah, so we have to assign it to this. Okay, right. That's interesting. Uh, it requires order counter and requires bowling lane. Okay, well, the order counters can go down here and then we'll just fill up with bowling lanes across this side. I think that might be a good plan. So we can take this wall out then. Might as well take that wall out to say there. That way. Will that do? That's a bit weird. So how do we how do we do this? How do we link that to that? Or do we do it the other way round? So it says it requires access. Manage bowling alley. Requires access. Oh no. Oh no, it doesn't require that. Okay, no, I thought it needed the ticket lobby thing, but no. Well, let's leave that open anyway, because that's quite cool. So people can come in from the cinema bit and go bowling if they so wish. Okay, right, now there's nothing left to do apart from wait for them to build all that stuff. So let's wait until the little builder dudes with their yellow helmets on have finished building all of these foundations and we can get building our bowling alley. Hey, there we go. Right, sorted. So yeah, I was thinking, shall I have some doors down here? But no, the bowling alleys go down here. And if you want to go out, you go out this way. That's what you do. Right, okay, bowling alley then. Right, we need to drag this out to make this bigger. So the bowling alley goes down there. And the bowling alley fills up that space. And do you know what? It can go just there as well. Why not? It can have that little bit just there. Okay, so it needs order counters and bowling lane. So I think we'll stick at the minute. We'll have two order counters. I don't think we need any more than that as it stands right now. So order counters and we'll have them coming in this way like that I think. That'll be fine if we have two. Now I think I can put them there can't I? I can put it, I could put it there and there and then we need to find ourselves the bowling lanes. Now this is a bit stupid because I can't rotate them around so you're just going to have to go this way and it's just going to be like that whatever. So the bowling lanes yeah, don't they're not in the most ordered of things, let's be honest. So one, two, three. We'll have a gap across the top. There we go, like that. And then can we fit some more in? I mean, I don't know what I'm doing with this. I'm completely winging it. Oh, I've oh I've spent all my money. Oh, oh, I'm 19 grand down. I possibly possibly should wait until I've been paid at the end of the day to uh, offset this horrendous amount of cash loss that I've just done. Oh dear. Right, hang on. Let's wait until I've got some money. Right, okay, there we go. It took a couple of days to come back into the uh, back into the profit, but yeah, there we go. So yeah, eight grand for those. Okay, well, let's just do that for now. Then let's put them down there. And then if we want to, we can put some more in as well. I've been intrigued to how this is going to work. Okay, ah, the bowling alley needs a floor. We'll have to do the floor later. So all we need now then from a bowling alley is cashiers. Is that it? Is that all it needs? Why isn't it telling me what it needs? Hang on, pause. D is it open? It hasn't got any staff. It's got no staff. How is this going to work? Right, and that can be 10, and it can be for whatever it was, 16 hours, shutting at 2 a.m. And yes, we need ourselves some cashiers. So is anyone good at cashiering? You, Stanley Forster, you will do. And then let's hire another one. Let's hire... Oh, you're not very patient. Oh, you lot are a bit rubbish. You're all not very good. Oh, you'll have to do Seth Goodwin, whatever. Right, you can start at 10 for 8 hours, and you can start at 6 for 8 hours. There we go. Right, so 6 to 8 hours, 10 for 8 hours. That's fine. Those two guys are in. Right, you're coming to work in 3 hours. Oh, that's good. You're keen. Oh, I like that. Well done. That's very commendable. Right, so let's just see how this is going to work then. So he's going to come in at 10 o'clock, hopefully. Maybe. There we go. The bowling alley is open. This is good. Someone's coming in to have a bowl. They've gone all the way around. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my goodness. It's very popular. <gasps> okay, right. Bowling alley is popular. This is what I have learned. Okay, around lunchtime-ish. And then everyone went away again. And now people have come back in. Yeah, it's a shame we can't do anything about that. It's a shame we can't do anything about the rotation of it. Because I quite like them to be all along the top. If I'm completely honest, this is not the ideal way around for it, let's be honest. But let's let's not worry too much about it. This guy, this guy is absolutely having the time of his life. Is he ever gonna leave? Okay, yeah, so he's doing well. He, this 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 could be good. How much do people pay to go bowling? I don't know. Should we check? Is anyone gonna come in? Eleven and twelve dollars. Okay, so a little bit. Not the most. <laughs> okay, yeah. So so we we don't actually make much on it. But there's an awful lot of maintenance. And an awful lot of salary 
and then not much in the way of profit. Okay, right. It that doesn't really work then. Okay, never mind. Right, we'll leave that then. That can just sit there, and uh, and and not be profitable. That can because it's attached to the Latana complex of things. Uh, we'll call it Latana Latana because I can't type uh, Latana bowling. That'll do. So bowling alley is not the most profitable of things. I think the most profitable thing is a shop, a regular store like that there. So. I think what we need to do is we need to think about building a bigger store. And I'm talking huge. I'm talking a massive store. I'm talking a huge, super mega Uber store that takes up probably half of this space. So car parking down at the bottom and then a giant, giant, super mega store full of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of shelves. And, you know, like 40 cashiers and 30 stock clerks and lots and lots of people. Is there anything I haven't got? Got fast food, got ticket, got movie, got a few maintenance centers, restrooms, bowling alley, offices, fine dining, bars, security centers. I think I've got everything. I think I've built one of everything now. I've kind of covered what we're doing. Right, yes, 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 yes. Very good. So I think everything is sort of covered in terms of in terms of all the different things we can build. We've got certainly got one of each thing. So it's a case of, oh, what's that? How do I do this? Right click and drag to remove anti theft tags. What? How do I put them on? Oh, what's this? W what is this? I do not know what this is. How do, what am I doing? Right click and drag to mark products with anti theft tags. Oh! Why, why do I not want to have all my products with anti theft tags on? Surely I want all of that. I've probably just made a really rash decision there, but why would I not want them with anti-theft tags? Particularly with all these things, that's quite important. You know what I could do, though? I have realised this. Where is the little anti-theft detector thing? Now, what I don't know is, do I want to put one by the door? Like, if I... Right, let's try it on this shop here. Let's put one there and one there. Does that stop people coming in and out the doors? That's what I don't understand. Right, builder, builder. No, people say... <gasps> Hang on, hang on, hang on. This could be very exciting. This could be exciting. Right, let's follow Matt Spence, a.k.a. Duke Newcomb, as he chases after a dirty villain. Right, come on then, catch up with the villain. Catch up with the villain before they escape. You, you have tea leaves in one of my shops. <gasps> Elizabeth White, 65? Times are hard, times are hard. A shoes collector, a former cashier, and a strong stomach. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was that was brilliant. Okay, that's what we're going to do in all the shops. <laughs> now we're going to put anti-theft detectors in everywhere. Okay, this is very good. Right, one there, one there, one there, one there. This is very exciting. I like this. Um, do I need more than one there? Ah, uh, whatever. Let's put one. Yeah, there we go. Everywhere. So you can't steal from the pub. You can't steal from the bar. You can't steal bar glasses. Uh, the only thing we need to do is move that one. It's been near the door. So that's jolly exciting. No one's going to nick something from there. No one's going to steal anything from the fast food restaurant. <laughs> I really would hope they're not going to steal stuff from there. So, yeah, we'll put a few here. Like that. There we go. That's good. And then and then anywhere else? Oh, yeah, now. Now, ah, yes. Now, should I have put... Do I build a wall back in here and put a couple of those in? That's a very good point, isn't it? Because now people can steal from here. People can steal from here, but we'll put it. We'll put a couple there because I quite like the idea of these things. <laughs> I'm probably going to go broke putting these things in, right? And then, yeah, I think then we have, we have those just there. So if it's a one door coming in, because you can't get past the shelf at the top there, so a wall coming down. Well, let's have it there and there, and then people that have to leave have to walk up round that way. Okay, yeah. Then we'll do a wall. Oh, we're going to have to do walls all the way down, aren't we? And then put a door in. So a double door like that. There we go. Right. Speed time on. So the builder people are going to have a bit of a job to do. So they've actually got quite a lot of stuff to do. But that's exciting. I didn't know you could do that. And the instant we did it, we caught a baddie. We caught a naughty thief. That was tremendous. Good job, Matt Spence. Good job. He did a very good job there. I'm very proud of Matt Spence. He actually did his job. He's probably not had anything to do for 150 days or whenever he built his little security box thing. He's probably had nothing to do for ages. Okay, right. There are two empty shelf things here. Is the stock clock thing going weird? No, it's just going home. 
and you, Stock Clark, customer going home. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, Brandon Morrow is not Polly Montgomery at whatever place we were at. Diana's Drinks. For goodness sake. Right, Diana's Drinks, Stock Clark, there. Transfer. Come back to your proper job and do it properly. Stop being silly. There we go. Okay, that's good. Yeah, um, while I was waiting for money to come in, actually, I had to fix a problem here as well in Mr. G's that one of the um, cashiers had, had gone AWOL. The cashier had turned into something else as well, which was a bit strange. I, I, I Have we seen it with a cashier before? I can't remember if we'd seen it with a cashier before. We'd certainly seen it with stock clocks, but yes, I, it was certainly with a cashier this time round. It's just a bit annoying. What a, what, a, what a strange bug. Hopefully, if the developers are watching this, they will be aware of that and aware of just how kind of irritating it is. <laughs> Because it's not a it's not a very good bug. It's not a nice bug to get. Now, can I build a big thing just here? The plan would be to build a massive shopping centre just there. A big, massive one of those. Just a huge superstore. Because that that's not very big, really, is it? What's that? Four rows of shelves. I mean, my the little the little shop near me is about that big. We want a gigantic store over here so we might have to start saving money because 32 grand is not going to get us a big store so yeah we're going to have to save up our money so what i might do then now with all the security measures and things in which is cool i like the fact that security measures are in uh yeah tag i can anti-theft tag all these things on here uh okay i don't know what anti-theft tag all of those things do i surely though ah now that i want to do and clothes yeah we'll do it on clothes I don't think I necessarily want to do it on, like, vegetable. How do you put an anti-theft tag onto, like, a banana? How's that going to work? I'm quite intrigued to do it, just to see how it works. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I don't think we need to anti-theft tag. Uh, let's put it on the let's put it on the drinks. Yeah, let's anti-theft tag the drinks. There we go. That looks like a fun thing. And, yes, we're making a bit of money. We're making 16 grand each day. Quite a lot of kind of salaries, maintenance. Okay, so we're not making as much profit as I would like. Uh, but we're going to have to wait. So this, this possibly is a little bit of a shorter part than we're used to. But the next big thing that I want to do is this massive shop down here. I want to get a huge shop in with car parking spaces galore and all sorts of things all the way down here. Now you can do a loan, I believe. Finance. Yes, you can do a loan. So I could say, that gives me a grant. That's not really worth anything. So you could say, my daily debt of nine grand if i do that i could get myself so if i took out a loan for a hundred days and paid out nine grand every day i could get myself six hundred and seventy one thousand dollars to take out a loan but then i'd be paying back obviously nine grand a day but then i could build the giant shop or certainly put some stuff toward it let's just check let's see let's say if i wanted to build a massive shop like that i need a million <laughs> I need a million dollars. That that way madness lies. Now, do do I just wait to get a million dollars? That's my plan. I want a really massive shop with loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of shelves, loads of stuff. Because I've kind of built one of everything now. I've built one of all the things. So I, I don't really know what else to do. I've got one of each thing. Certainly I could do, I mean, maybe more. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Where was the theftery happening? Or did he catch them right outside? He might have caught them just outside, in fact. Oh, well done. Well done, security people. You're doing a good job. He's doing a good job, his old security man. He's, uh, he's after him. Okay, so, yeah, I've built one of each thing. So I don't really know what else there is to do now. I don't know what else there is to do. How can we see how profitable the cinema is? Ticket lobby. Oh dear, not very much at all, is it? That's not brilliant. That is not brilliant. So yeah, do we need to get more people in? Right, hang on. I know what we could do. How's our marketing campaign going? So 10 days, 7 days left. Okay, so it is going. So it's going. 30 grand. Expected sales boost, 15 grand. And yeah, we've made more than that before. We've made more than that before. 40 grand. But I suppose we are paying more in salaries and stuff. So yeah, I think we need to build. We need to build the big shop. I could do it in phases. I could do it in phases. I would prefer to do it all in one big go. But yeah, if it means I'm going to have to save up a million dollars. And just to build the sort of, you know, the, the framework for it. And then I can put the shelves in and put the people and put the counters in and all that kind of stuff. Restrooms and whatever else there is. So 
Yes, maybe maybe we do it in bits and then just expand the shop as we go. But I think we do that next time. I think this is probably a little, yeah, a little bit of a shorter part for this video series, but I think that's okay. That's fine, isn't it? And then we work down here on our massive super uber store and see what that brings. So yeah, we'll probably start off maybe here, along here. So we want more parking along here. I think that's it for the cinema. The cinema does not need to be... Actually, should we add another... Should we add another row onto the cinema, another bit down there? And then we can have car parking along the sides, which is lovely. So we'll add another cinema bit, possibly, because when people come to the big shop, that might be a good thing to have, because they can pop into the cinema as well. And if we put a door in just here, at the end of the corridor, they can walk in through. So that would be quite nice. That's a good thing. And then... Oh, a bit of lag. Okay, that was a bit weird. Bit of lag going on, but okay, that's fine. Uh, and then, yeah, so we'll start building along here. So we might have to build it small, but plan ahead in order for extending it. So, you know, we'll maybe build all the checkout things on the side, possibly. On the side here. And then we, when we extend the shop, we can just build a bit on, put some more shelves in, put a bit down here, extend the extend the cashier bit. And then at the bottom end, we'll have more car parking. Stuff. It, shall, it shall be glorious, I'm sure. And I'm sure it will absolutely work and won't be a massive disaster like lots of other things. But there we go. So we have a plan. We have a plan for next time. Stuff is going on here, but that's fine. 89, 91 people leaving here because they can't get all the stuff they want. Yeah, we need the we need the bigger shop. We need the bigger shop with the more cashiers and more everything in the shop because that's just that's just silly. That shop is just silly. It's losing so many, so many people, so many customers because of queuing and all that kind of jazz. That yeah, we need a bigger shop with more queues and more cashiers and everything else. So yeah, next time out. The work starts on the big mega super shop, uh, which which we might call it the big mega super shop. But there we go. Our plan is at least in place. But that's it for now. If you have enjoyed this, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe to keep up to date with this series and all the other stuff that we do as well. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. How much cake did you have? Not a lot, you bugger off to the door! Blah! Can I be sick down our back? Oh good, there's nothing creepy about some mysterious, ethereal humming. Oh no, Mum's been on the gin again. Mum's been on the gin and she's been watching rom-coms. Oh Mum, no, what have you done?